Hi guys, Happy New Year! This is the very first sit down video of 2019. 2018 was kind of a strange year for me. The first half was amazing, had incredible opportunities, and just like a great time, like all around. Second half of the year was a little bit more difficult in my personal life, so. It was just kind of like a strange ending to the year, but now it is 2019, a brand new chapter, a brand new year. Um, but before we completely rule out 2018, I thought I would throw in my December haul because I went on Boxing Day shopping and I found some things. The Zara sale started, so I have some pieces from there. So I wanted to share them with you guys now that the sale like just started. That way you guys can head on over there if you like any of these pieces. And I actually managed to find a lot of like vintage inspired clothes this year. I'm not really sure why. I know when I went Black Friday shopping, I I literally found like absolutely nothing but when I went Boston Day shopping there was a lot of like vintagey kind of pieces that I'm like really excited about one of the things that I got is this dress and it is a velvet black dress that has this like white trimming on the front there as well as these little ruffly sleeves and I had seen this in store when it first came out but it was like $80 and it even has these like really gorgeous like little buttons on it that has pearls and little like diamondy kind of things on it which I think is really really cute. The second piece that I got at Zara is this little dress. Um, it is a burgundy dress um, and it has a white collar and little white cuffs as, and it is kind of like a longer dress so it's probably like a midi length and it has like a pleated bottom to it so it's really really cute. I actually really love it. And then the last thing that I got from Zara is this cream linen dress um, and it looks like this. It is short sleeved and it has buttons going along the entire front of it. It has massive pockets in the front and I thought this would actually be really cute as like a beach cover up or like a bathing suit cover up. I don't know why I just think it would look really really cute with a big belt and like a hat or something. I'm not gonna lie like it low key kind of looks like Victorian like pajamas or underwear. Um, which I feel like this is a trend that I've actually mentioned in a video before. I bought a dress before that I'm like it literally looks like I would be wearing this under my clothes in like Victorian times. Moving on to Topshop, I only have one item from there and it is so much fun. Um, I have a coat which you guys like I need to stop buying coats, it's actually getting out of hand. Um, I ended up getting this yellow plaid coat which I think is so pretty. This is gonna remind everybody of Clueless just based on the colors but I just think it's like so much fun and I love bold jackets. I hate just the regular blue beige black gray jackets so you guys know I'm always looking for fun colors so when I saw this I was like I need it. I also went to Simon's and they had some really really good sales actually so I ended up picking up two blouses. Um, this one is one of my favorites and it looks like this. Guys look at this collar. Can you guys believe this gorgeous blouse was only $9.99, you guys! It is so nice and you don't really see things like this nowadays, which I find really strange. Like I love massive collars and I honestly hope that that becomes a trend because I think it's so much fun. The next blouse that I got was also $9.99 and I just think it's so pretty. It's got more of a 1970s kind of vibe to it. It has a little bit of like a ruching on the front like at the top here so it is like really nice and fitted at the top and then it just kind of slightly flares out but not like overly so I just think it's like really flattering um, and it has like a plummy purple yellow and like a burnt orange kind of colors to it um, and then the sleeves have a little bit of like an elastic at the end so it's a little bit more fitted. Last thing that I got from Simon's is a dress. It looks like this. And I debated if I should get it or not, mainly because it looks really similar to a dress that I featured in my Christmas lookbook. It has really similar tones to it, but this one has like little trees and I don't know, it, it looks really similar, but it was $9.99 and I'm like, this is so much fun. Um, so I don't know, it is kind of similar now that I'm actually looking at it like on the camera. It does look similar from like far away, um, but I still think it's really, really cute and it has these really beautiful little gold buttons, which I think is such a nice little detail. They last clothing piece I got is from H&M and it is a circle skirt uh, and it is in this plaid color and it is so beautiful kind of sad I didn't have this before Christmas time where I would have worn it during Christmas time but it can still be worn like throughout the winter and I just think it's like so pretty and like you don't really find 
circle skirts like this very often so I'm really excited I can probably wear this with like a petticoat or something underneath so it like flares out a little bit more but uh, I just think it's really really pretty I also picked up a pair of shoes and I actually got these at Payless you guys know I always find really fun things on Payless for some reason they just have really random shoes um, so I have picked up these little heels here and they are a black and gold color and it has a little like ankle strap and I love this print it has kind of like a 1920s like art deco kind of print to it which I think is really fun obviously the like the silhouette of this shoe wouldn't be worn in the 1920s but I just love the print on it I think it's really really pretty and it also has like a bit of like a wave to it on the side which I think is like a really fun little detail and then the last few things that I have are more like accessories slash beauty kind of pieces um, I picked up two lipsticks at Chanel but they're like the exact same shade and then it's shade 60 Antigone which is my favorite lipstick of all time it is a rouge cocoa shine so it's like a mix between a lipstick and a lip gloss and it is the color that I'm wearing right now which as you probably see it's a very natural like everyday kind of color like a your lips but better kind of color so I'm like obsessed with it and I heard that they're actually discontinuing the entire Rouge Coco shine line so I was like okay I need to pick them up so I literally looked everywhere and everywhere was sold out so I finally found some so I picked up two I also picked up two movies one of them is charade with Audrey Hepburn um, and then I also picked up Sunset Boulevard which if you like films or history of film you definitely probably would have seen this already great film highly recommended and then the very last thing that I have in this haul is a book and it is the Beatles biography and I'm so excited to read this it's actually a really large size book that, compared to the ones that I'm actually used to reading um, so I'm really excited to actually read this and it even has like little sections with photographs and stuff in it which I think is like really cool so yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video and that pretty much concludes everything relating to 2018. So that is in the past. Um, let me know if you guys want me to continue doing these monthly hauls throughout 2019. Do you guys like them? Do you guys want me to cut back on them and do them per season kind of thing? I do want to cut down my shopping. I did do a little bit of that throughout 2018. Near the end of it, I did do less shopping, which I'm very proud of myself with doing. Um, but I think I, you guys are kind of leaning more towards more styling videos than actual hauls so I think I'm actually gonna start the um, get the looks for like different movies or stuff like that or like specific people if you guys want to recommend anybody so yeah that's kind of what I'm planning on doing for 2019 if you guys have any requests or recommendations of videos that you guys want to see throughout 2019 let me know in the comments below I'm really excited for new videos to come and different little styling videos that I'm really excited on working on um, so it'll be a great year all around well that pretty much wraps up today's video I will see you guys next time bye